Um, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today I decided to record a video for uh, Russian defense. Um, basically, um, this defense has uh, re-entered elite uh, uh, since when uh, Karana started playing actively, and he has played it uh, very successfully in. Uh, um, Candidates 2018, and uh, we can say that he played it also against Magnus Carlsen, and he didn't lose a, a single game, and um, also the closest win uh, for his uh, uh, against Carlsen has been in Petrov with black. Uh, Magnus drew it, but uh, it was very close game for him. He almost lost it. So and he could have lost the title with it as well. Uh, now, in the last candidates, in just recent, which uh, ended uh, just a few days ago, um, Nepomniachtchi played uh, Russian defense, and successfully he won against um, Van Hal, one of the games which uh, won him the, this. Um, uh, candidate uh, spot against Magnus Carlsen. So now it's um, it's considered to be, uh, first of all, very solid. And uh, secondly, uh, Black, uh, I don't know, uh, just Black's position is okay to play an end game. And uh, if you playing chess, you understand that with Black, you don't have too much um, uh, choice for you. And Kramnik was saying it that um, while well, with white you can choose something, but with black there is no such big choice of openings. Yeah, with white you can play it like 1g3, 1 knight a3, and have a decent uh, position, but with black it's like the choice is very narrow. And uh, um, so I decided, uh, I, I played uh, some games recently with. Uh, uh, with black um, and uh, I went for Stafford as well. Uh, I had some decent victories, but uh, not so many. And uh, mm, I saw that many people avoid playing this um, Russian defense for some reason. They know very well Sicilians and they know very well Rui Lopez, but somehow they don't want to play uh, with white. Um, Russian defense like main line, main Stafford, or um, something like that. So um, it's interesting that lots of players uh, play this line, which I want to show you. Um, and uh, I didn't pay attention to it, but it's really popular. So let, let's uh, take a look at this. E4, E5, Knight F3, and uh, Knight f6. This is the Russian defense counterattacking the e4 pawn. And uh, so if uh, white takes here, then I suggest Stafford for everyone. And uh, I just checked that uh, in this position, white has excellent uh, um, results after 1d4. I don't know why, but uh, Eric Rosen lost a lot of games in this position and um, um, just after takes, takes and knight e4, I don't know, um, queen d5 probably, knight c5, and um, well, this kind of position is uh, tough for black, but no one plays this ever, so I had this position many times and no one plays this in this, in this particular position d4, but um, okay, uh, but in uh, um, in this position, uh, a lot of players play d4, which is kind of interesting. Um, it's not the main move, knight d5, and I never saw it on the top level, but um, somehow players try to switch to... I thought that they, they think that they're switching to some kind of uh, exchange uh, French, uh, but it's not. Actually, it's... Uh, completely different um, opening. So the best move is taking on e4. 
Um, if uh, white plays something like queen e2, then we fix the knight with d5, and uh, with this knight, uh, f3 is not going to happen. We will have time to play bishop e7, and this pin won't, won't be uh, available for white, so it takes. And uh, two moves here. So uh, the main move here is bishop to d3, and I recommend to play d5 here. Again, we should play d5 when we play uh, some kind of uh, e4, e5 games. Yeah, at uh, the first opportunity, it gives us control of the center, and we develop the pieces. So very good move, d5. Uh, if uh, white uh, plays uh, castles, then uh, it's possible to take the pawn and uh, just uh, black is a pawn up. So uh, let's take this pawn on e uh, on uh, uh, e five. I played bishop to d six, which is a good move, but uh, angels just knight to d seven. Uh, with the idea if white takes then we will recapture and we will be uh, I think uh, in a very good spot with this kind of position here and castles so just gives up this pawn uh, but uh, black has very active pieces yeah it's very good position all right, uh, so uh, um, this is not going to happen actually. So uh, knight to d7 and c4. This is the uh, idea to attack this uh, knight on e4, its outpost. But it's actually a mistake after bishop to b4 here and takes, takes takes, takes, and d takes c. So yeah, this position is much better for black because uh, both we have two bishops, this pawn is awkward and the most big, the biggest problem is that white still cannot castle because this knight is hanging. So, okay, let's make, uh, so c4 is a mistake. Um, so the best move here for white is to take, takes and castles. So again, this is a very calm position and uh, black has, I think, solved all the problems after bishop to d6. So, um, okay, so we took this pawn and let's see, um, pawn takes. So the engine suggests bishop to c5, but uh, uh, Karana plays d5. Uh, bishop to c5 is a bit, I think, gambling move. Um, in this position, uh, white will play most likely bishop to d3. And uh, very uh, nice to remember that we have this knight to c5, attacking the light square bishop if we, if white just uh, <clears throat> place castle so we can capture this and play bishop e7. So without this light square bishop, this attack is not going to happen. We control g5. So uh, unfortunately for white, they have to play uh, in this position uh, bishop to e2. So after that, we play bishop to e7, uh, castles castles and uh, white plays something like c4. Um, so this position is completely equal uh, to takes. Uh, so white will win this pawn, but uh, black has excellent development. Okay, so this is the second line we looked at and uh, uh, this is, I think, this is it. So uh, let's make uh, the three wise. So here, here, knight f3, and d4. So um, move which uh, attacks this uh, 
e5 pawn and so we just capture and after bishop d3 we reinforce with d5 um, after castling we can play takes but it's not the best move um, if white plays uh, uh, here then they will blunder the piece in the center after uh, d5 so they have to be careful uh, they will play uh, knight takes e5 and knight to d7 the move i suggested uh, the best for white is to capture and after this exchange so we have um, i think um, decent position it's uh, white is a little bit better but uh, I don't see any problem for Black whatsoever. All right, thank you very much and uh, see you next time.